Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the great poker chip adventure. Grab two cards off the top of your deck. Let's see how you do. Leave a comment. Should I deal myself a hand? No, not today. All right, here's the flop everybody. Not looking too threatening for your pocket kings. If anybody has those. Uh-oh, starting to look threatening. Very threatening. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Straighty, fleshy board. That's a tough one right there. All right, so real quick before we start, how many players were playing this game? Did you guys count? People are thinking, oh, let's see how many chips were up there. Well, it looks like there was one, two, three, four, five, six players, right? Now, one of the reasons why I always play a hand at the beginning of these reviews, almost always, maybe I missed a couple of times, is because you just need to understand that poker chips are poker chips, okay? So as far as like tolerances go, as far as like what exactly is going on here, this is not, you know, a panel on an F-22, like a titanium panel on an F-22 fighter jet, okay? They're poker chips. They're here to keep score. There's no such thing as 100% perfect poker chip. Even Paulson poker chips are not identical and perfect in every way. They're very close as far as quality controls, but they're not perfect, all right? So we need to blow past that idea here in this you know this series and we also need to talk about you know they were sitting up here when i was dealing that hand but what was your focus the cards right as it should have been so you know people seem to forget that they spend like with for me i know in particular i'm guilty of this i spend too much time admiring these close up you know looking at every little detail and then when it comes down to it on the poker table I pay very little attention to them. They just do their job very, very well. Now, we're going to talk about little ins and outs and little things that we can look for to help you make your purchase decision. And that's what this whole thing is about, empowering you people to understand these chips and make a wise purchase decision and hopefully end up with more than one set because these things are fun to play with. All right. First thing we always talk about, quality control. Uh, I'm just going to throw up the numbers real quick for weight, width, and thickness. They're exactly what you expect with China clay. Yeah, there are <laughs> there are some variances there. In particular, you might want to notice the thickness if you are sensitive to that. For me, my, my stacks never really get above 20 chips uh, before I just start spreading them out, making different stacks of 20. So it, not a huge issue when you're talking about cutting chips. The other thing, though, that is interesting that's not described there is the flatness. Let's see if I can demonstrate here. I'm just going to rock these back and forth. Oh, they do rock. Can you see the gaps right here? Not sure if those are going to show up, but it does rock back and forth. These are not perfectly flat. You can see right there, that one really rocked up. So, you know, just be aware that these are not going to, you're not going to be able to stack these to the moon. Okay. Some people will be disappointed. Oh, I was going to build a castle out of them. I know you see pictures online of the intricate things people build out of poker chips. Okay, so, you know, quality control is very average when you talk about what you're expecting from a China clay. Uh, trust me, this has all the problems that all the China clays have. Let's talk, uh, well, let's talk about, you know, the stamping here, for example. These are, you know, kind of ultra sensitive to that because they have this fine texture on the chip, which makes, you know, any variance in that way off, right? So, for example, in this chip right here, See how there's, let's see if this will focus. There's a flat spot right there and a flat spot right here. Easy to notice because there's no texture right there. You'll also notice on this chip, we found this one on Friday in our poker night. Oh dear, let's see if this will stay focused. Right here, can you see that crack? That's a little crack. It doesn't go all the way through the chip, but there is a crack there. Huh, is that quality control? Or is that durability? <laughs> you guys decide. Uh, this, these chips, some of these chips have been thrown around by kids, ages two to five years old, or older. These they just get kind of thrown around. Thirty-five year old kids throwing these things around. <laughs> they kind of get. These, this is a travel set. I play with this set a lot. I have a set of five hundred of these. Let's talk about that right now. Uh, I purchased these from Apache Poker Chips after the group sale. Okay. Oh, here's another side note. I'm not on any forums. Okay. 
I have my Hobby John Facebook page. Uh, if you want to know where you can find my official sources, go to hobbyphilic.hobbyjohn.com. And there in the About section, I'll tell you that I'm on Daily Motion, I'm on YouTube, uh, a link to, <laughs> links to anything else that I might be on. That's where you want to go to know where I am. Okay, so if somebody's saying their name is John Hobby on a forum, particularly a poker chip forum, that is not me, okay? Just so you know. Uh, so either way, I was browsing the forums, and no, I'm not a member of any of those forums. And I found these when they were in group purchase mode. I'm like, oh, maybe I should totally sign up, make an account, and put in an order. But I didn't, because I wanted to stay true to this idea of a stock poker chip that you guys could buy at retailers online. So I didn't order them until they became available through Apache Poker Chips. Now, it's not like a broken record. I buy a lot of chips through them, uh, but I also like BR Pro Poker, uh, American Gaming Supply, I forget, I think that's the name, AGS, is also a good place to purchase chips. I think that's where I got my next gen pro gen is through them, I forget. Either way, um, so I purchased these, a set of 500, and I use them all the time. These are one of my favorite travel sets. I put them in a Claysmith case. Maybe I should make a review about some cases. Huh, maybe I'll do that uh, in future weeks to come. So um, these chips are now a stock poker chip. Looking around, these things are currently, it looks like they are currently manufactured and currently produced. You can buy them at Apache Poker Chips for a little over 50 cents. This is March 2016. I would expect that price would change. Around 50 cents a chip, you know, March 2016, at Apache Poker. So, you know, quality control then on these is where we left off. Very average. Now we need to dive in to the design of these chips. These chips are designed blatant knockoffs of the World Series of Poker Rio Poker Tournament set. <laughs> All right, that's what these look like. There is a cash set available of these CPS chips. And this is what you're, you know, you're looking at the tournament set here. So cash and tournament, very different. You can go online and look at all the denominations and figure out which one will serve you best. But notice there's no dollar sign, no pound sign, no euro sign, just a wonderful tournament chip. And so from a design standpoint, they are just, you know, <laughs> kind of clones. Instead of the World Series of Poker, they are CPS. And, uh, I don't know how your parents are, but that's not something I would ever tell my mom. Mom, I have CPS. She'd be like, uh, it was Nicole, wasn't it? I never did like that, Nicole. She's the one who gave you that. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mom, it's not a venereal disease. We're talking about poker chips. Like, oh, I never liked her anyway. I knew the moment I saw her. Are you still talking about, leave it alone, mom. Come on. Uh, I don't know if your moms are like that. My mom just like, she gets this like weird twisted idea of what's going on and she runs with it for the rest of my life. That's just how my life is. Thanks for bringing that up, guys. All right, <laughs> well, let's focus back on the design here. Okay, so clearly a knockoff. Now, uh, instead, so let's look at the design real quick here. I'll talk you through it. So that the original, the chip that this is making or replicating, originally said Rio up here because that was the casino that it was held at, and then it said World Series of Poker, no cash value. So lots of this is just liability and branding. Okay, not this one, but the one that it's replicating. And, you know, at this point, you know, it's just like so crowded with all this branding that you, they're like, as an afterthought, they threw a number on there. They're like, I guess we better put some numbers on there. And it's like an afterthought, way down here, little thing. By comparison, another one of my travel sets, this is one of my travel sets, we can compare it to the next gen. And I'm sure I have some of them kicking around here somewhere. I'm just trying to look through all my poker chips so I can find them. Here we go. Okay, I knew I had them around here. Um, <laughs> okay, look at this. The next gen, understand what's going on. They're not trying to, you know, well, not trying to copy more than like a Paulson, but <laughs> they're right here. It's like, oh, there's the number right there, dead center. We got it, okay? Whereas here, it's just like crowded, busy. Oh, and then we're gonna throw the number in there too. Um, let's move some of these out of the way here. So, you know, when you're looking for a tournament set, this is nothing to write home about. This is just a clone of a mass produced thing. And, you know, even the texture on it is just copying Paulson. Paulson had this really lovely, uh, almost like a canvas style 
paper, almost like there's fibers in these chips. A wonderful, beautiful texture. I'll see if I can get a close-up of these two chips. But just a lovely texture. And they're kind of kind of mimicking that with this really aggressive design. So we also kind of want to talk about that. Um, so, you know, we're getting kind of a china clay, which in itself is just kind of a copy of the Paulson material. And then we're getting a copy design. So we're like getting a clone of a clone or like a clone wearing a storm, sh uh, you know, a storm trooper, white plastic uniform. That's what these are, right? It's just kind of uh, one of those things. Well, you, well, some people, when they buy a poker chip, they want, you know, Charlotte McKinney wearing her graduation, you know, huge, beautiful robe after she gets her MD, PhD, being a shining light to all those girls out there showing that it's not about your looks. It's about intelligence, hard work, and determination, right? I mean, that's what you want in life, right? Instead, you know, you're getting just Django Fett here with a cloned version of him in a little plastic uniform. Uh, so that's what these are, okay? And, you know, so that's from like a, a aesthetics. When you're talking about the materials and the actual design of the chip, yes, they did add this texture, which makes it unique and stand out from all the other China clays that I've seen out there as of March 2016. Hopefully things change. But this is the only one that has that really aggressive texture and checkering. And I need to stop there because the rest of that discussion leads us to durability. You can see where I'm going with that. So as far as design, you know, the chip I like, despite some shortcomings. So I would say those are slightly above average, but the design of the sticker inlay right here kind of is a letdown. Uh, and uh, another complaint that people have had about design is these chips are awfully similar, okay? Um, you, get the five, you get the 500s and the 100s in a pile, which happens all the time because, you know, it's the next denomination up. You really have to do a double take and figure out exactly what's going on there. You're like, all right, let's see. There's one, two, three, and then it gets complicated. So, you know, it takes a little bit more effort, which some of you may not like. Be wary if you're sensitive to that stuff. You know, I mentioned the smell in materials. It smells like, you know, commercial carpeting on fire or something. Burn smell, new plastic carpet, commercial carpet. Kind of hard to describe exactly the smell. Some people don't like it. If you don't like that smell, uh, ceramics. Ceramics are a good bet. Go look at ceramics. <laughs> All right, so design. I'm gonna say that those two things balance out. I like the physical chip design, but the aesthetics, not so much. The color, you know, clashing, the color being similar, I should say, and the copying of the tournament set. So overall, very average design. They had so much potential here, but okay, you know, there's a, there's a place in the world for these. Um, I personally think if you want to feel like, yeah, I'm playing in a big tournament, yes, these chips kind of do that for you. They give you that nice tournament feel because they are mimicking something you would have seen on TV. All right, so okay. You know, we, there's a place for stuff like that. Now, materials, durability. Um, the materials are China clay, soft materials, uh, average <laughs> across the board. The stickers are nothing special. They're just the normal. They're very similar to Milano stickers. You know, they're fine. Durability. Uh, they did have a little trouble shuffling right out of package, but now they're kind of broken in, literally, like the edges break. Uh, they're easier to shuffle. You can, I can do it even with my left hand. You see, as soon as I say something like that, I open my mouth, then <laughs> I just totally fail at life. That's, I, you know, I'm just here to make you guys feel good about yourselves, then so be it. All right, so they can shuffle, and they do have kind of a rough, sharp edge right out of the package, something to be aware of when you're purchasing these. Uh, it does break down pretty easily. However, durability-wise, um, because it is such a sensitive, soft plastic, and they did put these fine ridges on there, it is easy to damage those if you grind these together. Don't do it. I know it may be tempting, but don't do it. They do wear pretty quickly, all right? You know, that's kind of a disappointment. They, they, such a soft material wears out so quickly. So um, durability, slightly below average, because for a china clay, that texture will cause them to wear a little bit more. As far as competitive options go, uh, they're more expensive than the, the competitive options like Majestics. You know, they all smell the same. They're all the same material, it seems like. 
Majestics, uh, Milanos. Oh, do I have some Milanos kicking around here? Maybe I do here. I got to reach over here and grab them. There are some Milanos right here. Um, oh, I have more right here. Duh. So Milano's Majestics are both cheaper. Milano's are running low 30s. Majestics are mid 30s. So like 32 cents a chip as of March 2016. All these prices will change. And these are running about 36 cents or plus or minus a couple of cents per chip as of March 2016. These are running around 50 cents, a little bit over 50 cents a chip. So you're talking 20 cents more a chip for this extra texture, okay? And we'll talk, is it worth it, John? Well, we'll talk about that at the end. Buckle up, all right? We're gonna, along with that discussion of competitive options, which there are plenty. I mean, at 50 cents a chip, you're almost breaking into Lucky Dragon range if you're buying a huge amount of them. Tiki Kings, I mean, you can get some pretty nice ceramics for, you know, around 70 cents, 60 cents, 69 cents, 70 cents a chip. So, you know, you spend an extra 20 cents a chip, you get some really nice ceramics. Well, is it worth it? That's a good question. You know, there are lots of options out there. The China clay world, there's plenty of China clays out there. Uh, you really need to like what you're seeing to go with this set. Like I said, I bought a set of 500 and I have them and I've played with them and we'll talk about that here in a second. We need to fly through this sound test. I'm not going to throw in tons of chips. Uh, Majestics will re represent China clay, other China clays in a fair fashion. Let's move these off here so you can still kind of see them. Uh, we're going to throw in some Paulsons just as a standard. We have some ceramics, good enough. Should we get some lower end ceramics like some scrolls in here? Let's get some metal insert chips. Uh, what do I have in the way of metal insert chips? Desert Heat by Claysmith will do the trick. All right, that's all. Oh, let's roll in some of these classic poker chips. All right, uh, CPS. Next Gen Pro Gen. Lucky Dragon Ceramics. Scroll Ceramics. Majestic China Clays. You see, you clumsy ox. Well, thank you. Paulsons. Key West Classic Poker Chips. Desert Heat representing the metal insert chips. Okay, I really like these championship poker series chips. I love them. That's why I bought them. I love the look of them. I, I, knew, I knew they were copying the WSOP chips. I'm fine with that. I really like WSOP. I like EPT as well. Uh, EPT chips are not readily available in the United States. Sorry, all of you Europeans. Uh, you'll have to go to a different source to look at those reviews. Uh, those are beautiful chips, by the way. So I really like them, I, but the problem is I really like them, but I wouldn't recommend them to anybody. Does that make sense? You can see the stickers aren't aligned with the edge spots either. I should bring that to your attention too for quality control production methods. Um, because they are going to wear pretty fast, I know this probably because how much I use these, I use these all the time. I have a set of 500 in a Claysmith case. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably gonna do some case reviews here eventually. I can't recommend these to people. I'm not going to tell everybody, go out and get these chips. They're awesome. You really need to be in a very specific situation to buy something like these chips. And for me, they're lovely and I love them. And nobody, every time I bust them out, nobody complains. In fact, you usually get compliments like, oh, we love these chips. But it, every time we open that case, there is that smell. So things to consider. CPS. It was Nicole, wasn't it? 